Hello everyone, Nadlab here. Today we're going to be making this very simple two tap game. As you can see, I can tap on the left side of my screen and it will move Godot to the left. And if I tap on the right side, it moves Godot to the right. And we're using version 3.2.3 stable. So we're just going to start off by making a game scene, which is just a regular old no 2D. We're going to make a new scene called player. And we're going to fill it up with a rigid body 2D, a sprite collision shape. Of course, you can make this a kinematic body 2D, sprite, shape, anything else you want, which your game is going to use. And if you want to make a two tap game, you just have, you can use whatever node you want. I just did rigid body 2D because it has a very simple, uh, it already has the sim, it already has simple physics setup, like uh, applying forces and gravity. So that's why I used it. And of course, you're going to attach a script, which is right over here. You can just uh, attach a script and we're going to start coding it. But before we start coding it, we want, um, I'm just going to do a very quick first principles, first principles analysis of what exactly does it mean to get a two tap system set up. So if we draw our screen over here, right, uh, we have, we can think of it in two parts. If we're going to make a two tap game, we can think of it in the left side and the right side. So what we're essentially going to be saying in our pro program is, uh, wherever the player taps, we want to compare its mouse position or the pointing position or where the tap position, uh, to the middle of the screen. If it's less than that, which is on the left side. So if a uh, point position, uh, is less than the screen middle, do something that would ha indicate that you tapped on the left hand side. And if the, I'm going to use a different color actually. If the pointer position or the mouse position is, or the click position, whatever you want to call it, is greater than the middle of the screen, do something that indicates it was on the right hand side. So that's essentially what we're going to try programming. And this is how you might go about doing it. So of course we're going to go on to get a reference to our screen size. We can simply do that by saying at the ready function, get a variable called screen size. Now, of course we want to make this a global variable because we want to use it in more than one place. We're going to set its type equal to a vector two. We're not assigning any values to it. We're just setting its type with this colon over here. So if we refer back to our picture, we want to make sure we can get clicks. How do we get clicks? Well, essentially we're going to go to our project settings and we're going to go to our input map and make a click variable or a click, uh, sorry, we're going to make a click action. You can see I already have it. So it won't let me add. But if I type in a random letter, it'll let me add it. I don't need it though. So we're going to go over here to a click, click the plus sign, click mouse button, and make sure you have all devices because it helps it work on mobile devices as well. So that's something you want to keep in mind and make sure it's left button because when you click on a mobile device, it, it's essentially like clicking with your mouse uh, left button. So that's something to keep in mind. Once you set that up, you can close it. Now we're going to start programming it to make sure that we can register click. So we're essentially going to say something like, in the input function when there's an event and if the event is action press click so if i just go over here and click print clicked or something something called click printed to the console next we want to figure out where the player actually clicked and we can simply do this by saying uh, or at least we can simply get this by saying global position uh, or we can say get underscore global mouse position actually because we want to see where the mouse is and we can actually get the global mouse position and you can see that i'm getting different values now we can extend this a little bit further and we can say if um Let's say get global mouse position is less than the screen size dot x value, right? Because we want to, we want to differentiate on the x axis. You can also do this for the y axis, but then you would also have a, uh, like a portrait game. So specifically mobile. And then you want to like, uh, do it over here with the y axis. And again, you'd have the same uh, idea. This is going to be the left side and this is going to be the right side. I'm not going to draw an R in, uh, anyway. So. We're just saying if global mouse position is less than screen size.x, then we're just going to say print. But you can see there's an error because global mouse position is a vector two. We want to say, we want to say global mouse position dot x minus or is less than screen size.x. And sorry, it was cut out for a little bit, but this is essentially what we want to do. And now if I run the code, you can see I get a click everywhere. And why? Because get viewport rec dot size essentially gets me the size of the entire frame. It doesn't get me half the size. So I have to go into my code and say divided by two. And now you can see that when I tap on the left hand side, I get clicks. But once I pass the middle of Godot's nose over here, I get nothing. And that means we can start differentiating our clicks based on where it, uh, wherever the player clicked, left or right. So we can easily set this up. We can set this up in a very simple fashion by doing something like this, where we essentially say that uh, we're saying the same thing. But this time we're going to do a fire event and we can just make that function and we can pass in a boolean. And I'm going to explain what that means. So let's say this is our boolean, b for boolean, and we're just going to, we're not going to return anything. And this is our function. So if, uh, the value passed in is true, we can say this is on the right hand side. So this is the right hand side because, uh, now we're going to see if the global mouse position dot x is greater than the screen size. So that essentially means we're checking if anything happened over here because remember it's greater than, greater than is over here. And 
So we're going to pass in true. Or you can pass in a number or a string or int, but it's easier if you just pass in a Boolean value because it's true or false. So if we're, and then if it's, uh, if we're passing in false, then obviously it has to mean that we clicked on the left hand side. So I'm just going to do something over here. So if B, so if Boolean is equal, equal to true, but you can also do something like this. If B, then we're going to say print right. I can't spell. And then else we're going to print left. And, um, yep, you can see it says left. And now when I run the scene, you can see left, right, left, right. We get two, uh, two tap mechanism going. And now we can just put in some forces. And now you can see I'm just uh, applying a central impulse to the Godot sprite and or frigid body. And now you can see when I tap on the left hand side, it moves left. And when I tap on the right hand side, it moves right. So that's that's a simple way to set it up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on Android in just a second. And wait, before I do that, I just want to make sure I just want to make sure that if you're going to be exporting this to Android, uh, not in your export settings, but in your project settings, you want to make sure that uh, you have your window and you want to have your you want to make sure you have mode set to 2D and keep because it helps it uh, keep the same size across different uh, screen resolutions. And you want to make sure that your you want to make sure emulate touch from mouse is also on. I forgot to mention this in the one tap game, but um, I'm going to put a note in that video. So that's a different story. So just make sure that's on and I'm going to connect my phone and uh, export it to my phone and I'll be right back. And now you can see I'm on my tablet and we're just going to be tapping on the left hand side. You can see Godot moves right and I'm tapping on the right hand side, Godot moves right. And I'm using my Android S9 Plus uh, and you can see it's working perfectly fine. And that's all I have to say for this tutorial. Have an amazing day.